So after here, we show uh, you how we can create this um, uh, GUI and how to add to make that GUI run. One other thing that I want to mention is that up to here, anytime that we uh, generate the code like that, we said, okay, generate the code, it will generate a single file like that here. So let me open it. So it was a single document that it has my frame in it. It has a class of my frame in it. And then you go there, they have the, my app in it and all those things in the class of my app in it there. But usually, if, if it's a small GUI, that's okay. So you can handle, but if it's going to be a large GUI, then this file becomes really large and probably it's not uh, very helpful to work. It's not very easy to work with. So let me delete that. Usually when we are dealing with the, uh, with the, uh, uh, with the larger uh, GUI with, uh, that has lots of um, options, lots of uh, dialogue, all those things, what we want to do, we want to export each of those uh, main uh, widgets separate. So for example, we want to uh, export the application as a separate class, we want to export the frame as a separate class, we want to pro most likely export the panel as a separate class. If you have any dialog, we want to export them as separate class, so it's easier to maintain them, to um, uh, work with them. So if you click on the application and then moved on, I see code generation is a single file. So instead of that, we click on that, so separate file for each class. So every widget that we or every window whatever we mark it as a class will be um, uh, exported as a uh, separate file so here our application is a class and its name is my app then our frame is also a class and as a my frame so if i export that nothing else is a class right now so if i export it i'm going to get two classes out there so I get my app and my frame and <clears throat> everything else is there. One other thing I can do is that, okay, let's go ahead and say, you know, my panel also, I want it to be a separate class. So I will click on that. I click on the class and then I just write in my panel, the name of that. And then I will uh, save it and I will generate the code. And now if I go there, I will have the app I will have my frame, I will have my panel. So if I open that, we'll see it. So this is my app. So it's basically import my frame and then it call it. And then I, if I open my frame, so again, my frame is a class here in my frame, it call my panel and then it use it. And then if I go to my panel, um, so, this is the class of my panels there. So we can manage every, if you want to add code or make any changes there, it's much easier to do it when it's like that. And if I run this, I have to get the same results. So everything comes up here. And then remember that I have those functions so I can come here and add, for example, anything for that function right here. Uh, it's the same thing if I have a dialog as well. So if I uh, come here and add a dialog, so um, let me do that. So if I come here and generate a dialog, I say it's a simple dialog. And let's close that. So if this is my dialog, also I can say, hey, I want my dialog to you know, export it uh, as a class. So it's going to be. Uh, my dialogue, then the name of that. And if I export, so let me save it, export the my dialogue here as well. So you, you can see that there also. So anywhere you want to use the my dialogue, you import it first and then you call that dialogue. So you can uh, use the dialogue uh, for any purpose you have. So generally for larger GUI, it's uh, easier that you come here and say, hey, export everything um, as a separate file for each class and then you can maintain it uh, that way.
if you have a small project, you probably you will be okay with single file, put all the classes in a single file. Otherwise, I would suggest you to export them uh, as a separate file.